You could soon get a ticket or even be arrested for giving money to somebody on the side of the road or in an intersection panhandling. And so last night, the city council passed a bill designed to crack down on panhandling to make the roads safer. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding is joining us now live. And Ashley, there will be a grace period. Yes, Jen and Bruce, it is going to be a 30 day grace period and JSO says that it's going to be out in the community educating people about this new change. Now to put this change in simplest terms, people would not be allowed to stand in medians or the roadways for extended periods of time and solicit money, but it also applies to the person inside the car. They would not be allowed to engage either. The final vote last night was 16 to 3, an overwhelming majority of city council leaders signing off in favor of cracking down on panhandling in roadways and medians. Following the 30-day grace period, the bill calls for penalties that include up to a $100 fine for a first offense. On a second violation, the offender would get a warning and possibly a trespassing notice. Repeat offenders may be arrested for up to 10 days. I don't believe in arresting People, I think, you know, I, I supported this because it 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 addressed a lot of the safe a lot of the safety issues. But I would tell you, my folks don't have a hundred dollars, you know, to get out. So I'm I'm really depending on, you know, public safety to kind of help get the word out. Um, we got to do a really good job at marketing. Several council members echo to those thoughts about public safety. After it passed, Councilman Kevin Carrico, who introduced it, released a statement to further explain it, saying the bill does not outlaw the act of panhandling in the city. It makes any physical interaction, commercial use or occupancy of public rights of ways, medians and roadways illegal in our most heavily traveled roadways. Jacksonville recently ranked sixth in the nation for pedestrian injuries and fatalities. We can neither do something about it or just ignore the issue. The bill does allow an exception for charities as long as they get a permit first. Having people walking around your car, distracting people at intersections, walking around with pets, walking around with children at busy intersections, and you want to talk about public safety? Man, I can't think of something more dangerous than cars running through there. And the ordinance will take effect once the mayor signs it. As of now, there's not really an idea of when he may do that. But again, there is going to be a 30-day education period. We're live this morning. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.